Marvel isn't just telling a story in their films, they're creating a whole universe. So if a character makes even the smallest cameo in a movie, chances are there's a lot more to them than we're seeing on screen. Here's a spoiler-filled look at some characters in Thor Ragnarok with more meaning than you might have realized. Valkyrie Movie fans around the world were thrilled when they learned that the Hulk would be teaming up with the God of Thunder in Thor Ragnarok. But comic book fans were even more excited to see the Hulk team up with the Marvel Cinematic Universe's newest superheroine, Valkyrie. That's because Hulk and Valkyrie were friends and teammates for years in the pages of the classic Marvel series The Defenders, which also featured Doctor Strange and the Submariner. While The Defenders' name has been poached by Marvel's TV division, seeing Valkyrie, Hulk, and Doctor Strange in the same movie keeps the dream of a big-screen Defenders reunion alive, and further opens the door for the eventual appearance of Namor in the MCU. Grandmaster Known across the galaxies as the Grand Master, Endwee Gast is more than just a guy who loves games and blood sport. He's also one of the elders of the universe, which, in Marvel Comics, is a group of immortal beings of immense power who are traditionally the guardians of the Infinity Stones. Like his fellow elder, the Collector, who is played by Benicio del Toro in Guardians of the Galaxy, the Grand Master is likely to make another appearance when Thanos finally rears his head in Avengers Infinity War. Scourge the Executioner Hela's minion Scourge the Executioner has a long and curious history in the comics. A longtime villain and adversary to Thor, Scourge eventually redeemed himself in an epic storyline where he held off the armies of Hell armed with a pair of machine guns in order to save Thor and a group of innocent mortals fleeing from Hela. That part made it into the film, but for most of his existence, it wasn't Hela that Scourge was associated with, but rather his one true love, the immortal Asgardian sorceress known as the Enchantress. Both an enemy and occasional ally of Thor, the Enchantress is arguably the most important character from Thor comics who hasn't yet appeared in the MCU. The appearance of Scourge in Thor Ragnarok suggests that might be on the verge of finally changing. Korg the rock-like Korg belongs to a species that has actually been teased twice before in the MCU, first in Thor The Dark World, and then again in a quick easter egg in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. And the character contains another secret, as the CGI-created gladiator was played by Thor Ragnarok director Taika Waititi himself. But the real easter egg behind Korg is a deep cut from the very dawn of Marvel Comics. He's part of the alien race originally known as the Stone Men from Saturn, who Thor fought in his very first comic comic book appearance in 1962's Journey into Mystery No. 83. In fact, in the comics, Korg himself is one of the very alien invaders Thor battled in his origin story. How cool is that? Meek Poor little Meek is played purely for comic relief in Thor Ragnarok, but in the comics he's a much darker figure. A lot of the plot of Thor Ragnarok is borrowed from the Planet Hulk comic book story, in which Hulk leads a band of fellow gladiators on the planet Sakaar in a revolution. Hulk then becomes ruler of the planet, which is where things take a sinister turn for Meek. Unsatisfied with the new piece Hulk is ushered in, Meek is complicit in a plot that leads to the death of Hulk's wife and child, sending Hulk on a vengeful rampage across the galaxy. It's only later that Hulk Hulk discovers the base treachery of his supposed friend. He doesn't seem so cute and goofy now, does he? Topaz the Grandmaster's right-hand woman originally wasn't even a Marvel character at all. Instead, she was created at Malibu Comics as Queen Topaz, the ruler of a race of alien Amazons. Eventually, she ended up as a superhero on Earth. After Marvel bought Malibu and folded some of its characters into the Marvel Universe, she was summoned by the Grandmaster to be a pawn in a contest with Loki, losing a fight against Crystal and Black Widow of the Avengers. Topaz is the first Malibu character to make it into the Marvel Cinematic Universe, opening the door for characters like Harley Hard case, firearm, and prime to potentially make the jump to the big screen as well. Beta Ray Bill Eagle-eyed observers may have noticed that one of the busts adorning the outside of Grandmaster's Tower is none other than Beta Ray Bill himself. Who's that, you ask? Well, you know that inscription on Thor's hammer that says whoever is worthy can lift the hammer and gain the power of Thor? In the comics, Beta Ray Bill shocked Thor and fans alike by proving himself worthy and lifting the hammer. He became as powerful as Thor himself and earned the Thunder God's trust as the sworn brother from another alien mother.
Beta Ray Bill has been a fan favorite ever since he first debuted in the early 80s. So the fact that the film acknowledges existence is enough to send hardcore Thor fans over the moon. It means that somewhere out there in the MCU, Beta Ray Bill exists. Now it's just a matter of actually putting him into a movie, instead of just a statue of his head. Are you listening, Marvel? Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.